let's explore what's latest in KISS Flow Board. To start, you can now categorize your items based on their status, assignee, custom drop-down fields, and custom user fields. For instance, let's say you want to track your team's workload on the board. Instead of counting the number of items assigned to each board member, you can group the items by assignee and see the number of items allotted to each member. In addition to the Kanban and list layouts, we have a new layout called Matrix. You can use this layout to plot your items in two dimensions and select fields for both rows and columns. This layout allows you to slice and dice board data and perform complicated operations like resource balancing and reallocation. Let's assume you want to focus on critical items due this week. One method is to group items by priority in a Kanban layout and add a due date filter. You also want your entire team to view the same configuration. Unfortunately, this is a time-consuming process. So, instead of asking them to configure these options individually, you can now save this as a view and share it with them. It can save you time and effort to have these customized views available the next time you need them rather than piecing them together from scratch. Similarly, you can create many private or shared views and pin them to your board for easy access. Finally, the reopened category is now optional. Disabling this category when it's not applicable saves space and allows you to focus on the items at hand. If necessary, you may easily enable it from the Edit Workflow menu. That concludes the KISSflow board updates. Check out our website and help documentation for more information.